probiotic, prebiotic, antibiotic. What is a biotic anyway? And not bionic. Biotic means living organism in an environment. Rare indeed is the person who has never taken antibiotics, but rarer still is someone whose beneficial gut flora has not been adversely affected by antibiotics. Antibiotics are designed to eradicate unwelcome bacteria that make us sick, but antibiotics actually struggle to discriminate between good bacteria and bad bacteria. Your gut or intestines contain bacteria that is imperative for good digestive health. It might seem strange to think of any bacteria as good, let alone beneficial bacteria that live inside you. But without these good bacteria, you will struggle to assimilate vital nutrients and suffer the ill effects of an imbalanced gut ecosystem. Antibiotics disrupt the balance of beneficial bacteria in the gut, which often leads to a population overgrowth like candida or undergrowth. Too much of the wrong bacteria in your gut can wreak havoc on your system. Symptoms that may indicate your gut microbiome is out of balance might include bloating, constipation, diarrhea, heartburn, acid reflux, food intolerances like lactose intolerance, skin conditions like psoriasis, sleep disturbances, constant fatigue, autoimmune diseases, and these are just naming a few. If you have taken antibiotics, it is essential to repopulate the good bacteria in your gut with probiotics. Let's get technical. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria found in fermented foods. The easiest way to repopulate that gut bacteria is with a variety of fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, miso, kefir, pickles, not usually the store-bought kind, and raw apple cider vinegar with the mother, like the little floaties at the bottom. You can purchase probiotics in the refrigerated section of health food stores, but bacteria variety is usually limited. Including a variety of fermented foods in your diet should do the trick. Now that you've repopulated these good guys, what are you going to feed them? They have to eat something. Prebiotics are what your probiotics live on. They need to grow and reproduce, and to do this, they need to eat something. This is where prebiotics come in. Prebiotics include anything that grows and contains fiber. Good natural sources of prebiotics include legumes, beans, whole grains, nuts, fruits, vegetables, and let's not forget herbs. So after taking antibiotics, make sure you take care of your gut flora by consuming fermented foods along with natural foods, I sometimes call actual food, and avoid empty depleted foods that may exacerbate your digestive health. Listen to your body. What is it telling you? If you want to keep learning health and wellness tips, make sure to like and subscribe. We have so much more to share. And visit us at itsinnernature.com. Now, if you enjoy hands-on learning, check out our in-person workshops and events. They are power-packed, fun, and life-changing. Mother Nature wants to take care of you. Why not let her?